And now we have another addition to the Xperia family, the Xperia Neo. And the first thing you'll notice about this handset is the ergonomic design, which makes it ideal for taking photographs and shooting HD video. One of the other features you'll notice is it has a front-facing camera, which is great for taking those cheeky photographs of you and your friend, or making a Skype phone call, for example. Now, it wouldn't be an Xperia handset without any of that Sony technology in there. So you've also got the mobile Bravia engine, giving you the clearer, sharper images, and also XMORR, which is ideal for taking those photographs in really low light conditions. All of that coupled with Android 2.3 makes this a feature-packed handset at a really affordable price. One of the other features that we've brought over from Sony is the mobile Bravia engine. Not only does this increase your battery life by up to 40%, it gives you brighter, sharper images and more true-to-life colours. That basically means that you have the Bravia technology that you'd normally see on your TV at home straight away in your hand. We've also taken XMORR technology from Sony's digital SLR range and put this into Xperia Neo, making it the perfect handset for taking those shots in low light conditions. So whether you're in a pub or a club, or even just messing around with your mates, you won't need a digital camera anymore. As Xperia Neo is running on the latest Android platform, Android 2.3, the first thing you have to do is set up a Google account. This is done really easily. You simply go into the main menu, and then into the marketplace. After you hit next, you're asked whether you want to create an account or sign in. So if you've previously had an Android handset, or you simply know your Google email account, then you tap sign in. If you don't, you then hit create, and it's really easy to set one up. Once you've signed in or created your account, you'll then be faced with the new marketplace. Across the top, you'll see loads of different apps and games that have already been pre-selected as favourites. And then underneath that, you've then got apps, games, and my applications. My application bakes down all the different games and apps you've already put onto the handset. And then if you come back out of that, you've then got the other two, which as I say, are games and apps. Each one of these are broken down into sections so you can look at different categories of games or applications. It's really easy to download an app. You simply click on the category you're after and then it's broken down into top paid, top free, and even applications that have just arrived on the marketplace. When you look through and decide on the app that you want to have, simply click on it, and then hit install. Accept the permissions, and it'll start to download. To watch the progress of the download, drag down the notifications bar at the top, and you'll see the progress. Another real fun feature of Xperia Neo is the front-facing camera. This is ideal if you want to use it for a Skype video call or even take that photograph of you and your mates with a camera facing towards you. To set it up, press and hold on the camera key. Once you do that, you then see down the right hand side you've got all the previous photographs that you've taken. And then on the left hand side, all the options for the camera. One of which in the middle is a front facing camera. Click on the centre icon and then you'll see yourself. From here you can switch it from camera to video, to record a video. Or if you want to take a photograph, you simply tap on the screen. Another great accessory from Sony Ericsson is the tube speaker, the MS430. And it's an ideal accessory for Xperia Neo. You simply click it into the 3.5mm jack and then start up your music. So it's ideal for when you're out and about, whether you're chilling out at the park or getting ready for a night out with your friends. So that's all for Xperia Neo. For more information, please visit sonyericsson.com forward slash UK Insider.